All right, so I'm gonna make this video because uh, once again, I had a couple of drivers talking about a load they had and uh, they were a little nervous about it because of the way it was rocking and all that. Now this is a legal boat. It's a 25 out of Ranger. Now one of the guys had this boat and one of the guys had a 23. So my point with this is to show you that you don't need screw pads and all the extra stuff that you need when you do an oversize. Uh, you just need to have the proper strapping. So um, anyway, so this is a 25. As you can see, I've got uh, four straps in the front. Okay, two going down each side. And I don't know, maybe around a 60 degree angle. But now my bow is sitting on this V board here with, you know, a bunch of carpet um, in there. Back here in the back, all I have are just the long stern bunks. Okay, you see? So I have them three holes out um, from the center. And then I, I always tape some, some carpet here just in case because I have had these crack and break before, these bunks, and uh, that's just in case that boat were to come down, it's not going to hit the crossbar, okay? Um, but you can see there's still room in there, and that's all the way. I'm at the dealer where I'm going to deliver, so I picked it up in Washington, made it all the way to Florida, with no issues so okay the strapping there are cleats little metal cleats you have to take a knife and cut the cover to find them one back here in the back you can see where I'm at here okay back in the back and then on this particular boat the other one is right here like not really in the center it's it's closer towards the rear of the boat than it is the front of the boat but there is another cleat right up in here okay but this is the strap that's going to keep me from rocking you know side to side and that's why I don't have any screw pads in here now if this were an oversized boat I would have put a short upright with a slider cup and then put my screw pad down in there to come up underneath here and keep the boat from rocking side to side and you need that on the oversized boats but this particular boat you don't because it's a legal boat it's only 25 feet long eight and a half wide but if you go to this center cleat and you come almost straight down I just didn't want to go to the same hook I mean the same bar where I was hooking that strap so I went a little bit forward this strap and the one on the other side that I'm going to show you are going to keep the boat from going like this, okay? As long as you keep your straps tight. Don't keep your strap tight, well, then, of course, the boat's going to rock. Now I'm going to show you. I'm all the way across the U.S., and the boat is still sitting level. It's not tilted to this side, not tilted to that side. Why? Because I put those extra straps going down okay so again this side is strapped identical to that side so I take this cleat I come down here with one strap that's helping to pull it forward now, this strap has a slight angle you know pulling forward but it's also keeping the boat from doing this because it's it's more or less up and down right down to the d-rings you can see under here I got plenty of clearance okay all the way under uh, again, I said this in another video. You just got to make sure that all of your bunks aren't anywhere close to hitting the bottom of the boat. So you can see I've got plenty of clearance in there. All the way up to where it's sitting on that wood. Okay. And again, I've got this side strap, same way on the other side as it is here, pulling straight down. Come up here to the front. And I've got two straps coming back, same as, same as, you know, that I did over there on that side. 
just always remember anywhere the straps gonna touch put some carpet in there to protect the boat okay same with back here I didn't need anything there because you see I've got carpet up there but then this strap isn't anywhere close this strap isn't anywhere close but this strap was okay it was pretty close so I just zip tied me some some carpet on this strap so what that does is this bulge of carpet just helps to keep the strap away from and and there's still some room in there if I push the cover in but I don't take the chance okay so carpet up there because you're gonna have straps that have clips on them you're gonna clip to the to the cleats and then right here where the rub rail is you want to put carpet in there these straps are going to be tight pressed against that rub rail so you want a little protection in there because it those straps will eat through these covers as most of you know so uh, anyway we're going to do one more um, you know everybody's trailer is a little bit different so you know you might have loaded it you know back a little further here you may have loaded it forward a little more here because we had plenty of room you see all the room that I had I just like to put a lot of the weight or most of the weight is in the back back there I like to put it over the axles but you see how much room I had let me step back where you can see the whole thing you see how much room I could have pushed that boat well forward and almost almost put it in front of the axles back there but I don't know I just like the weight a little bit distributed a little bit different so anyway I'm gonna do one more just walk around to let you see what we're, we've got there again same thing on this side you know carpet wherever the straps might touch always have four straps in the front two on each side okay sitting on the wood I also have that little thing right there which goes across the I-beams and then it's it's lengthwise I can also set the bow down in there I only do that when I'm worried about the height with the bigger boats this boat I knew I'd be well under height so I use the the bigger wood So on this smaller, like this one, the 20, 28 is when it gets oversized. The 27, 25, and 23 are all legal boats. You can load all of them this way. You don't need screw pads, okay? If you use these straps the way I've got them, it will keep the boat from rocking side to side. There you go. Twenty-five Ranger, legal size boat, no screw pads needed. Just make sure that you put that extra strap right there on each side, and that'll uh, keep the boat from rocking like this. All right. Well, there you have it. You know my, who I am. You've got my number. You got any questions? Give me a call.